any lawyer would allow that to happen. Was number two Durden's decision to have OJ try the glove on? It had to be in the top 10. Yeah, no, that was very, very high. Very, very high, especially since under California law, you could have made him try it on outside the presence of the jury. And only if you saw that it fit, then have him do it in front of the jury. But Darden just didn't do that. I don't know whether he didn't know California law or he just was arrogant. But uh, I was in the courtroom that day. I was sitting literally two, three feet away from OJ when he walked over to the jury. And he said, it's it's too small. And at that point, he testified. Right. So he didn't have to subject to cross-examination. So it was a great, great legal blow. We didn't win the OJ case. They lost it. Yeah, no doubt. I think it goes back to the old uh, saying, you don't ask a question you don't know the answer to course, time, yeah. times a thousand uh, in yeah. that situation. You don't put a glove on a guy if you don't know if it's going to fit or not. Yeah. And, and that became the mantra. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit.